Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Come on, let's do this. Here we go. Boom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We're on the Hacienda, which is uh, my range. My private range that I have here in Florida. Today we are doing um, something I think you guys will really, really enjoy. So, have you heard about the PSA dagger? That is basically um, PSA's entry into the striker pistol market, right? Mm -hmm. This one that we have is actually kind of famous because uh, this particular one already has 3,201 rounds through it at least from a few other folks out there. Um, we are gonna open this box, we're gonna get into this, we're gonna see if we can take it from 3,200 to 5,000. That's the mission, we got Babyface P, we got Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms, we got Lola here, and of course, myself, we are gonna do this, we're gonna get into it right now. So Walter, Babyface, all right, we're gonna take a look in the box. These guys have already cheated and looked in the box. I know Patrick had, did you? Hell yeah. Well, uh, yeah, well, shame yeah, of on course. you guys, shame have, on wait, you. Wait, 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 have you? <laughs> yes, but you know. Oh, but you're it, different. It came to me as the FFL, so I had to open it. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I'm a professional, that's what we do here. Everything's kind of semi-professional. All right, so it comes in this box. This is $2.99, Walt, I think oh, you bought one. Yeah, 299? it's $2.99 because I bought one yesterday afternoon, so. Yeah. I thought it was three fifty. Two ninety nine is an even better price. Three fifty is going to be the optic ready um, with the oh, suppressor barrel. Ooh, three fifty so, for that's a good deal. Yeah, so that's a great deal for this. Um, if it if it works. Yes, PSA is already making these. I know there was a delay in the production of these because there was something that they found in development that they weren't really happy with, and they ha went back to the drawing board on that particular thing, got it fixed before they put it out there. So the story of this particular one is PSA decided to send it around to um, lots of different uh, folks out there that create content ab about guns and things like that that they know. Um, I think it started out with uh, Pew Pew Tactical, Johnny B. Okay, and the Elfsters had it. The Elfsters had I saw it. His video. Well, I, I briefly, I, I yeah. tr I've totally not watched anything yeah. on purpose. Right, I've 704 Tacticals had it. For us. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, and then after us, it's actually going to Tactical Toolbox. <laughs> so right now, as it came to us, it's had uh, 3,201 rounds officially. Who did that one round? On Who paper. was that? <laughs> For one round. Official, official count. They haven't changed any parts on the gun. So it, it might have been clean somewhere along the way. Should have. Someone might have, yeah, someone might have lubed it or something <laughs> like that. We're not you know, torturing No parts this. changed. I mean, you should be lubing your gun. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not we're not really torturing it no. here either. What we're doing is just putting a lot of rounds through it. We don't want to destroy it because it's going on to other folks. So we're going to try to put at least 1,500, 1,800 rounds through it, give you guys our opinion of it, um, starting with opening the box here, then we're going to go to paper. So I'm going to open the box. $2.99, get a cardboard box. I'm not complete. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't, like, don't, I don't want to pay for a box. Yeah, yeah, I'm paying it, for what's in the box. Yeah, put it in a paper bag and That's make all it cheaper. I care. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. In, inside the box instructions, oh. um, which is cool. We can, I guess we can, we can flip that out. So it's got pictures and stuff on it and That's, wordy things. That's how we work. We don't Yeah, so we're good with that. <laughs> uh, it comes with the safety flag here, obviously. One magazine. So I know I've seen some folks complaining about that. It is a PMAG 15. Again, saves on the price, I bet. Yeah. If they get these things wholesale, it saves on them buying Glock mags. Yeah, it's two ninety nine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, the, you okay this is what I expect. Just one, just one magazine? It's not one bad. One magazine. Yeah. It's fine. So, I have a couple mags. I, yeah. We all do. I'm going to remove this flag here for a second. So here's what you get. Um, I really, I like the finish on the slide, I have to say. Obviously, this has been used before. You guys can see that. Beautiful markings. You can see the serial number. If you've been following this, you can take a look at the serial number. They should, uh, after, after everybody... What does everyone think? What do you got? Oh, let me go quick here. So underneath this foam, you've ah. got uh, the lock, which is by law. you got a Palmetto State sticker right here, if I can get it out. PSA sticker. We're going to leave all this in there. Yeah. It's got a cool coin. I'm tempted. That's really neat. I know. I know. I'm tempted to I have one it. coming. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so that's what you have. So what do you guys think? While he's touching it, yeah. uh, PSA, you guys, should, uh, you guys should auction this off after all everybody's 
played yeah, with this it. This one is going to be famous at this They point. should auction it off and then give the money to charity or something. Yeah, that'd absolutely. Be good, that'd absolutely. be a good idea, right? Yeah, I think, I think that's Feels good. good. Feels good. Looks good. Yeah. Like I said, injection molding is nice. I don't so, so a lot of people are going to start talking about comparing this to Glocks, which we have a bunch of Glocks here on the table. There's this mine. is this is mine. A little bit. This is about as Gucci'd up as I'm going to get on a Glock here, as you guys there. can see. This is a Glock 19. <laughs> That's the size. That's the relative size of this. This is a, ten, a two. Um, what is what is yours? This is a nine, uh, 23 to 19 conversion by Safety Harbor Firearms. Yeah in a Gen 2 frame. Yeah. And this is mine. This is a 23 frame with a 19 upper put on it. There you go. So here's the thing. Um, they started this from scratch, from paper, blank paper, and built it up. Yes. With a it, concept. Yes. Uh, around this, right? Yes. And around the magazine and some other compatible parts. Yeah. Um, and I think you guys might see a little bit of that. You, your barrels and stuff like that are compatible. Your sights, etc., are compatible. So. There's a lot of stuff about people talking about quote unquote Glock uh, clone. There's a lot of those out there from a lot of different that's companies. A, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. No, the big thing for me on this is the $300 thing. Yes, $300 is a, is a, a selling point. Um, yeah. Because torques. there's a lot of other, there's other striker fired guns out there that are a lot more than $300. Yeah, if, if you build up one of these, if you build up like a 80 percenter or you- It's gonna cost $500 now. Yeah. I don't care how you do it, you, if, oh, if this, you're paying retail, you'll spend was, $500 building up a, a... Yeah, this was this was not cheap. Because yeah. this is an 80 uh, polymer. I mean, I think a Glock 19 is like between Six. 650 maybe 550 If you want a Gen 5, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so. the, the new stuff right now is running retail six something. Yeah, so, so this is you, easy five. You can't even get parts... For that for, price. Yeah, for, for 300 for a, a nice slide so. alone is two something. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, a basic... I have one here. I pull it out. A basic no serration slide was 140 something when yeah. I bought it. So that's it's half the price. Yeah. Then you yeah. need a barrel. That's another yeah. 150. Right. Depending on where you get it, what you get. You yeah. Um, so yeah, it's expensive. It's, you know, it's not cheap nowadays. So. And I think that for the price, for it being quote unquote cheap or you know good value, inexpensive. yeah, inexpensive, good value for money or whatever. I think you're getting something really nice. Obviously, you know the the, the frame down here is polymer. Slight texture. Um, yeah, it feels decent as polymer. Mm -hmm. um, I like the grippiness. It's imprinted with Palmetto State right there. Um, I feel like I can get a good enough grip on it. We'll see how that works. I this is a little bit shorter it's a, than average. Gen it's, three. It's a grip, but you'll see the, the, the grip, mag release. The grip feels aggressive, but it's not obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff out there is like, oh, geez, no, but it's not. It's not like you want to sand it down and make it smoother yeah. or something. So yeah, and there is a difference right here in this cut, this Under, undercut, undercut, which is on a lot of, of uh, your Glocks. It's a little, it's a little bit different. A little bit of a bump out right here. You said you don't like the bump out, Patrick. No, no, I. Um I'm gonna have to shoot with it, but it, it's got swells on the side. Oh, you don't like the, the swell. grip swells. I like the hump. I've okay. talked about this before. I like the Glock hump. Okay. If you don't like the Glock hump, you may not like this. Um, but it has a very, very slight swell on the side to fit your palm, mm -hmm. and I'm just not used to that. It feels good as mm -hmm. I'm gripping it. I'm just used to a Glock which has flat sides. Yeah. Just that's my one difference that I noted when I picked it up. Yeah. Beyond that, it really does fit the hand. It like it kind of gloves into your hand pretty nicely. Yeah. I will give them credit. It, it that swell actually fits down into that palm area okay. pretty nicely. What do you think about the slide? Because I think I like the finish on this slide, and then these are steel. The uh, mm -hmm. the sights on here are steel. So for this, for a slide like this alone with the barrel sights and everything, you could spend three hundred bucks. Oh, easily. Yeah. Well, as soon as you start adding all the serrations and the custom yeah. angles and everything. Can we goes up, so. take it down already? Can I take it apart real quick? Um, yeah, let's do it. I want to see the inside. Let's, let's take a look in there while we're here um, before we start shooting. Upgrade. If this is factory, this is an upgrade. Uh, steel guide rod versus the plastic one you get on a Glock. That's another, what, 60 bucks, 80 bucks if you were to buy that. Yeah, I mean, look. That's, that's a Gen your, 4. Yours yeah. is a Gen 4. Um, but yeah. on these Gen 3s, they're plastic. Mm -hmm. um, barrel looks good. Internals look I mean, somebody cleaned it and lubed it before they sent it to us, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's exactly what you would expect from a Gen 3 firearm. Yeah, exactly. 
So I, I think not a lot, not much more that we can say here before no. we start no. shooting it. Yeah. Who wants to go on the paper first? Oh, by the way, let's show the ammo. We have lots of magazines here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got uh, lots of different kinds of ammo. We'll try to call that out to you. Lots of steel. Yeah. Lots of brass. Lots of more over there. Yeah, we've got about 500 <laughs> rounds of steel case um, that we're going to shoot. We've got at least fi uh, at least a thousand or more we're uh, not, in brass. We're not going to abuse the gun, but we're not going to treat it to the creme de la creme of ammo. We're going to yeah. shoot what you would expect to see at a right. Um, I've got some I've got some Fort Scott munition stuff here. Also, if you guys are nice, we'll we'll shoot some uh, subsonic. I want to yeah. Stuff it, I'm going to do a video as well afterwards. Mm -hmm. I want to see how things interchange, but I'll do that later. Yeah, let's get into shooting it. Yeah. Let's grab some ammo. <laughs> I am gonna take a seat with the reloader. Yeah. You guys start. Yeah. We're gonna shoot, dump reload. Your bags over to me. Keep going on this video. It might seem a little bit chaotic. This is what happens, but this is a controlled range for people who keep <laughs> asking. This is a private range, which I own. I'm a professional, Walter's a professional. We're actually FFLs. Walter's a manufacturer. Patrick is a safety. I'm a um, NRA expert. certified instructor. <laughs> exactly. Oh dear. You had to say that, didn't you? That's yeah. what Get I am. over your stuff. I'm gonna go for that number two. You know, for number two, everyone's got Air Pro on. Yep. Okay, there we go. Full mag. I saw in some videos that full mags had some issues, so I'm curious to see after 3,200 rounds if it's still oh, having. By that. the way, we have. What's up? Mags of all nationalities here, so yes. yeah. Um, there's Korean mags, there's a couple of Magpul mags, and then there's Glock mags. So yeah, we'll see how it all runs. Yeah, if we have problems, we'll stop and analyze what our issues are. There we go, lock back. Uh, we can go look at it. <laughs> uh, that's about a fist size. I'm fine with that, Walt, I don't know. That's uh, within uh, um, government specs, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm good with it, it's freestanding, you know, going a little fast or whatever. I'm, I'm fine with that. So you wanna go for this area, Walt? I'll let you I'm put. I'm gonna go, for, I'm be number one. Let's I'm gonna see do how one. she runs. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, let me get, bring you a magazine. Back. That was a couple rounds. Yeah, you want to go take a look at what it is and oh, I can see it. Discuss well, your accuracy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little low, but I'm in this, uh, I'm in this sector here. So yeah, we hit the number one a couple times. Yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm in this strip here. I'm gonna go for seven. No, I'm gonna go for eight. I'm try to get out of here. Yeah, or four. Oh, actually, eight. No, eight's good. You're right. Lock bag. Uh, do we know what's in this? I'm not sure what kind of ammo it is, it's brass cased. I think that is, a, I, I think that's Fort Scott. It's rounded, so it's not. No? No. Okay. All right, let's see if I can hit with this thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling it just a little to the right. There it is. It's fine. I was kind of all over the paper. I moved a lot, but I can see you're getting <laughs> you're adjusting for the grip. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. It... Keep going, guys. It works fine. Shoots fine. I guess I'll keep going. Let's uh. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at your. I, I'm all over the place. I was shooting at one now. I saw you shooting at one. You started at eight. You got some eight. Yeah, I, you could see I was pulling it a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. um, if you take your time, the trigger is trigger is uh, not as good as my, my Gen Four. I, or my Gen Three is probably a little bit better. Um, the Gen Four is worse. I don't have a Gen 5 to compare to, but it's probably closer to a really nice Gen 3 than it is a Gen 4. And if you oh, guys own a bunch of Glocks, you'll know what I mean. The Gen 4s were always kind of iffy on. And you don't change your triggers, right? You leave them stock? I, pretty much, yeah. I, I do like the polish. I'll polish them and things like that, but I won't, I won't Gucci them, really. Yeah. All right, so there you guys go. You got to see some paper. Um, we're not going to take all day shooting at paper, just because when we get one of these, as Walter said, he bought one, so either we'll use that or I'll get one myself. We'll do more paper stuff. Right now I want to get this, uh, this round count going. So I'm not going to keep doing a lot of talking. Let's, uh, let's do some shooting. <laughs> we got to drop it out like that. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Let's do some reps. Oh yeah. Oh, that was enjoyable. Let's move down. Let's uh, should we do sideways? Doesn't really, sideways thing doesn't really work for me. I could tell you one thing, I do wish that magazine drop was a little bit wider, but I have a feeling you could swap that out for whatever you want. So uh, let's just keep going here. Anyone else want to? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to add something to it. Okay, this is loaded. This is a must for a care, for a duty pistol, a home defense gun. Uh huh. I think a flashlight a is flashlight? a flashlight. Okay. Let's see. You've got that mag, and then there's another mag on that barrel there. You want to try it out? I think it is getting a little hot. It's fine. Okay. Uh, X300 Ultra from Surefire. This is a staple in most people's homes. So let's see how it shoots with an X300 on the front. Oh, nicer. It adds a little weight to the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much, much better. Ooh, no, slide is getting pretty hot. I'm going to sit it down for now and start reloading. I like that, yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Were you going for those spray cans? I was. You see the one jump? I did. Didn't hit it, but it just scared the crap out of it. This is fun. We're still good. Oh, we had a little, uh, had a little, I guess we'll say a little burp. Could be the magazine. Alright, here we go. 
That was one of the Korean mags. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So, it's a little little step in its uh, feeding. You got the lab right around. Yep. Right there. Right there. Boom. The that was one of the Fiochi it. rounds. Okay. We're going to... Uh, we're going to uh, make sure. To something. Wasn't the round, I can tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Run the round. Last shot is open. God. That's pretty consistent. Yeah. Boom. I love shooting these uh, mags that. Okay. All right, that was. I don't know what that was. Let's take a peek at that. Another ejection. That was a, one of the Fort Scott ones. Okay. Just it closed, but not quite all the way. Right. So let's try it. Got some more of the Fort Scott in here. So let's see here. All right, here we go. Boom. No issues there. No issues there, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to set this down for a second. So she's getting a mite warm. Okay, let's put it look, in at the that shade. Poor, look at that poor uh, light. <laughs> a little bit uh, a little dirty on the end there. Yeah, um, who's next? Uh, how many rounds are we at? I have no idea. Okay. How many rounds are we at right now? Here One out. What happened right there? Track it. I don't know. It's on the ground. Okay. Okay. Let me check it. You just stepped on it. Okay. It's right here somewhere. Go go ahead and shoot. I'll find okay. it. Okay. Was it a, an ejection issue? Uh, no, it didn't. It clicked and no bang. <clears throat> I'll find it. We'll focus on Hank. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll track down what's going on with that. Are you adding so, new ammo? Not yet. The okay. new ammo is getting packed over there so we can count it. So we're still under 800 right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume we're probably like around 500 or something like that at this point. Um, uh, and then... Failure to fire with the primer strike, bad ammo. Okay. Uh, you could probably actually put it in another magazine and try it in here. In our I bet you. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, so, so that was that... just a light primer strike on the ammo. So probably yeah. an ammo problem. I think that kind of stuff, we're going to see some of those. We're just going to try to record those as much as we can for you guys. And of course, if we have like a catastrophic thing, we'll let you guys know. Yes, I am switching to gloves. Not just because of the heat. I want to keep um, a minimum amount of gunpowder on my hands themselves. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, let's keep going through. This looks like a, we're, so a lot of what we've shot is actually steel case so far. And so is this here. Um, let's keep going here. There you go. That worked. I got big old, that thing would be awesome. Um, I'm actually right now, where's Lola? Oh. Right here. I'm actually into, uh, this is the Fort Scott stuff that I'm shooting here. So let's see how fat, how we could do with this here. I'm gonna shoot a little closer up right here. Let's go for this action target out there with the hostage and slow myself down a little here. I'll try.
<laughs> yeah. Okay. This, listen, it's fun. But it's work. <laughs> but yes, it is definitely work at this point. I'm going to go for this circle target and see um, how good I am. There we go. Let's go for a big 33 round magazine. This is a Glock one. Let's do that. I'm gonna... Be great if it was full auto, right? Yeah, absolutely it would be. But, uh... Get through this fast. Yeah, here, let's go down here. And I'm gonna dump this as fast as I can. You ready? Ready. Not bad. Yeah, Walt, you ready? Yeah. Ready to get back into action? I'll leave it there. Sure. Got the uh, magazines here. Are these newly loaded? No. Dipple. That's still this our original hot. stuff. This is still the original? Okay. Yeah. Has this thing been in the water barrel yet? No, it has not. No, Do we take this light? Are we going to dip it in the water barrel with the light on it? I, I wouldn't. That's Patrick's I was going to say I either, so. I don't know why we have a light on it, to be honest with you. But. Also test the light. The light got tested. When it hit the water, it bubbled. It made bubbling noises as it hit the water, so it was a little bit warm. Walter's still going, apparently. All right. things. What happened here? What happened there? I don't know. Let's see it. Is that an ejection? It's right here somewhere. Light, so yeah, same thing, same type of ammo. I'm gonna go with ammo, not gun. Might be hard primers. Hard primers, I think, yeah. yeah. Alright, all right, here we go. Shoot it'll shoot again. Yeah, it'll Back fire. At it. Here, try it again. Those are Hank Strange men. Yeah. Oh, so this is for Scott. Okay. There you are. Oh, there oh. are. Yeah. Oh, all that's new. This is this. Yeah, let him try that out. I'll load this up. Because, listen. Oh. <laughs> Are we good? So, what's, what's that? I'm ready. What's that one? That magazine? Uh, this is a Korean made 50 round drum. Okay. See how she feeds. reason we're getting a hold open. Yeah, we had a little stumble. I would say that's magazine related. Oh, see, wait a minute. That's operator related there. Whoops. All right. Yeah, we're getting some feed issues, so I would say it's this. Magazine doesn't like it. The drum is getting towards the end of the, some of the tensions down on it. We so. need to pick up the rounds, yeah. All right through most of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took it off before we dug it in the water, so. No, it, it's made for it. It's made to survive all that. Well, if you okay. want to put it I back no, on. No, put it on. It's ma this, is, this is an expensive light. It is made to survive We this. didn't want to dump it without your approval. No, put that on there. I want to see, sorry, excuse me. Put that on there, please. I want to see it, uh, see if it'll survive everything. All right, here it goes. Go for it. 
Don't get in water. I don't. It's a surefire. It should be able to survive that. Going swimming. Go for it. Sizzle. Oh, it just did. All right, here we go. We're switching from the drum. Uh, let's just finish this one here. Yeah, finish these right. up. After dunking in water, uh, the it's in uh, extraction is still great. No, nope. yeah, it's, it's a magazine. Got a magazine issue. It's, it's, no, it's working great. Okay. It's not the gun; it's the magazine. I ah, don't drop it. I didn't drop a dollar bill. Now, come on. No, but we're oh, counting every round. Oh, here it is. We're counting here, every single here, round. We here have here to make goes. sure it is a, a correct go. count. Here it goes. Okay. Got it. Got Got it. Put it man. back in. Yeah. Put it back in something. Here it goes, rock and roll. Boom. All right. A little bit. I guarantee I can shoot them faster than they can reload them. Uh, I think you can. <laughs> Kick an ass. Uh, I'm going to try two of the most notorious mags. Which the are? ETS. Notorious. Uh, for working or not? Nah, not. So far, they've all worked for me. And Korean. Korean, yeah. So far, all the Korean mags are working. Come so. on up a little closer. I'm going to, like, quickly dump these. All right. ETS mag with a, <laughs> with a very wet gun. <laughs> Ready? Ready. That worked fine. Nice. We first loaded, we should take a break. And Jesus. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> worked fine. So listen. Thank you. I think what we should do here is break. we're probably close to um, the 600 something rounds we started with. We started with 800 rounds. So I think out of those, these are the only ones that are left over, right, Patrick? This, this here. What are all yeah, this is all new stuff. This is new. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll stop uh, when we get through this stuff, because then we'll be at 800, okay. which is about uh, like halfway through what we want to do. Um, and we'll stop there, take a look at the gun, take a little break, count what we have, and then we'll keep going. So let's keep going on this stuff, Patrick. Well, we have to count for that drum that we didn't empty. That's I got it right thing. here. Oh, that was, that's what was left in it? Yep. Oh, not bad. It almost made it. Okay, put it in something and then come on over. Um, so the gun's safe here, Lola, if you want to take a look at it right now. So we've got, this looks like, how many rounds is this? Like 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90, 180, uh, 210, uh, maybe 230. Yeah, that's about... 230 say, more rounds. Yeah, that we have to go, so... To hit 800. Before we hit 800, yeah, right. Um, obviously, the slide is dirty. I can see that. Um, <laughs> you know, let me see. Through my gloves, it doesn't feel too bad, but I know it's all hot and stuff like that. Patrick wants this light on here. He wants to test it from Surefire. It's got lots of uh, gunpowder over it, but it's fine. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's just keep going here. Okay, loaded. Okay, we're going to the 33 rounders. All right, let's see. Up, oh, uh, dead trigger right there. I'm not sure if anything loaded. Let's see, yeah, a round did load in. So we'll put that out. Oh, light primer strike on it. That same that ammo. Same ammo? Yeah, is. yeah. So there you go. Uh, yeah, um, so that's ammo. That's definitely ammo. Yeah. Put it back in, throw it back in the mag. It'll fire. Okay. But no, that's that's ammo. That's that was gun. the first round, so I don't know how it was like. It might just be an issue of. Let's see. There we go. It loaded. Let's see if it fires. There we go. Thirty-three rounds. Okay. Walter has these clear. These see-through mags, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly where they came from. I'm just shooting into the berm now. Let's see how 
Let's see, how fast can I do this? Oh, dead trigger right there. Probably the same issue. Looks like it. <laughs> All right. There you go. Empty on that. So, I, I'm not exactly sure. Walter will tell us where the steel case stuff came from. Um, but, you know, that's why we do this, right? To see what happens with it. Uh, I think in general it's not bad. There you go, that was a dead trigger right there. Let me see. Yep. Okay. All right, so there you go. Um, for sure, we're having some issues with that, uh, with that with this particular kind of steel case. Um, and I think that's... Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is your phone. Um, so this right here looks like some Fort Scott stuff that Walter has on the top of it. Um, but, and I think this is also Walter. I'm going to go, like, I know this has the uh, Fort Scott in there right so um, and I believe this is the Fort Scott range stuff that's in here because it doesn't have the pointy the pointy tip on it if you guys just look at that I don't know whether or not you can see it on the camera let's do a dump with that and see if we have the same result I'm ready ready okay here we go My fingers are getting tired, without a doubt. Okay, someone else needs to come take over from me. Okay, so this magazine right here, this is the uh, br this is brass nut, and these two are the, um, the steel. And when you're done, when when Babyface is done with that, we're taking a break. So you're getting us to 800 rounds, Patrick. All right. Getting a little sluggish moving forward. Those work? Oh, we have to shoot those two. Yeah, the loose rounds. And the stuff that you had? My arms are getting tired. I know. <laughs> oh, all right. Last little bit. So these are all the ones that fail to feed. Yep. Uh, from the drum. Okay. Yep. My like forearms are getting tired. This is what you get for being a, a computer slob, sitting behind a desk all day, not not working out enough. We're all guilty of that. I know. When you run it through a quality magazine, it works perfect. That was 800. All right. 800. Yeah, so here, let's... Uh... Let it cool. All the steam coming out the bottom here. <laughs> nice and cool. And we'll put a little more lube on it. Let it dry. But 
seems to work great. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay. Color me impressed. Did you get a hit the sizzle? Yes. Yay. Lots of carbon yeah. on the, you so, can see here. On that light. The light gets so much carbon on it. But I wanted to see how the Surefire, so, Surefire is go. supposed to take it, so. Right, we're gonna go cease fire here for a second. We'll take a look at the gun. We'll probably hit it with some lube and stuff like that since we're dropping it in the water. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. If you're, you know, I don't know how often you clean your guns, but we're if we're at 800 rounds, that's we're well in the zone of if we wanted to, we're not going to clean it though. We're no, just gonna it, it doesn't feel it like it needs it. Yeah, it's not getting it. When I said it was getting sluggish, like you can see here, I think it might have been the magazine with the steel cased ammo because this oh, okay. is not sluggish. And the steel at all. case is really dirty. Yeah. You so, can smell it when you yeah. shoot it. You can smell it. And I was like talking. Yeah, I was talking does. to Walter. This is Walter. So those were actually uh, in the category of floor sweepings. Not really, but Walter was mixing it up, right? You were mixing up the ammo. Yeah, there was yeah. whatever was in your pocket in the hand. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is good. That's a gun should be able to. That's eat a good that. thing. Yeah, I, it's. it's I want to. I want to. If I'm trusting something, I want it to be able to eat lots of stuff. You know. Yeah. So we'll take a break right now. We'll shut off the camera. We'll, we'll come right back. We're not going to do Let too me, much with this gun without before sharing Before we it. shut off the camera, it is getting so smooth. <laughs> that action is smooth like and that glass. trigger is like, feel it, feel that. Yeah, I mean, it's at... Uh, it's That's at, smooth. <laughs> and that, that slide is so smooth. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that's good work that's for what, it. Four thousand rounds. We should charge you. a. Uh, we should charge that's a, a gun, fee. gunsmithing. Yeah. Fee right there, but yeah, let's do it. It's uh, in my opinion, it's doing good. But we'll uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Right, guys so what you see here is all the different kinds of ammo that we're using we've got some subsonic here that we're going to shoot we've got mostly brass there's still some uh, steel case that's going in lots of different kinds of magazines that we're using this is kind of like the midterm of this uh, particular test that we're doing yeah we're in the middle of it and so I just wanted to like catch up to everyone about what we have going on We've done 833 rounds, I think, was it guys? Yeah. Roughly. Right around there. Yeah, 833. So the overall goal being for us to get to 5,000, we want to get over 5,000, like 5,004-ish. Um, so we need like another 900 and, what? what is it? 900? 940. 940. So that's about what we have here, sitting here on the that table. That is what we have here. Yeah. Exactly what we yes. have Yes, certified by <laughs> Babyface P. Um, so here's the gun. In my hands, uh, it's safe, it's unloaded, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's obviously dirty, but to me it's still, you know, still doing good. We don't really have major problems in it. I think steel case was our only issue. So I'm going to let these guys take a look at it and let Walter take it apart. See how it looks. Oh, go ahead, take it apart. Take it apart, Patrick, go ahead. You probably do it better than I do anyway, so. Well, the spring is caught. Hold on. There you go. <clears throat> okay. So, what does it look like in there? Well, check uh, that out. I want to see expert. this. This is what I wanted to check. Okay. So this, this is not theirs. This it's got a little bit of crust in there. Somebody else's. Yeah. But yeah. it should have to have our shooting all around for sure. Yeah. Not bad though. Yeah. So no, um, Ooh, there's no. What are, you, what are you doing, Patrick? Mm, Patrick is uh, checking to see if this aftermarket brand. slide fits on it. Fits pretty well. Yeah. Okay. It is compatible, quote That's unquote, for. Whoever That's out there needs that. What I wanted to see. Yeah, compatible with um, Glock Check and out. other aftermarket Glock stuff. How's the how's all that looking, Walt? Where are you doing this? Feels there's any bulges? There's no bulges oh, okay. in the barrel. So. Look, look down. How dirty is the inside? Ah, Captain, it looks pretty good there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it looks all right. It's just yeah. yeah, it's as dirty as you're gonna be after shooting that many rounds. Yeah, the yeah. rifling doesn't. Let me see. I'll tell you guys. Can't see this here. It's just even back here. It's just dirt. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's, it's carbon not. like you would expect. I mean, this there. is yeah. It's not nothing. That's not bad, really. I've seen a lot worse. So. Yeah. This yeah. is after a trip like this, you would want to take this completely down, Just, clean all your trigger components. Yeah. We do. You, do you think we should throw some lube on it before we go back into action? No. No. Go okay. Go for it. <laughs> so <laughs> not really. It's all. Yeah. All the lube is going to do is collect more. More gunk. Yeah, more gunk. Yeah. So um, the uh, and actually the gunpowder itself is a lubricant, right? 
I'm not going to go that's a myth. That's a myth. Facts on barrel. <laughs> yeah. Into the uh, the dagger. Yeah. So, Which is an aftermarket sure Glock barrel. All right. That's the Looks spring like it that fits. came with it. Whoops. Yeah. Shout you out to. Up? Let's do something a little different here. Oh, you're changing the spring. That's a Gen four. Yeah, I would. Oh, here, I would take keep this one. Okay. I take would this. use the same spring. Yeah, here you go. Gen three. Okay. If you want to try it. Okay, we'll try that's it. That's a yeah, Glock we'll spring. That's a Glock spring. Yeah. Okay. So is that a uh, polymer? Plastic. Pop plastic. Okay. Yes. Yeah, plastic. Let's polymer. see what happens. Whatever term then. you like to use for it. We'll switch everything back when we're done shooting okay. this suppressed. Um, but to start off here, when we go back to shooting, we're going to be shooting subsonic. Let's just have, there we go. There you go. All right, there we go. Nice and smooth. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't yeah. per percolate. Let's yeah. put a can on it. See what happens. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this is a Liberty, what? Um, Centurion? Centurion. Centurion. Yeah, Centurion. This is short. Yep, with a special uh, coating job via a baby face paint. <laughs> um, yeah. that obviously, uh, somebody's not too happy about. That's the nylon. This is this is called Urban Camouflage. That coating you can you can only get it uh, if you ask. And the only way you get it off BFP. is you have to bake it off. You gotta heat, which maybe today will be a good time to get it off. Uh, maybe. If we're gonna be shooting a whole bunch of suppressed rounds. Okay. So. Yeah. And we got you have a booster on it. Yes, right? we yep. do. Yep. For yep. anyone so, who's gonna ask. Liberty. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so we don't need air pro for this part, I guess. We'll see. We'll see how it sounds. Um, most of our most of our um, stuff here. So I think. Yeah. So what was the subsonic? This was um, federal. Federal, yeah. Most of it's federal. There's. Uh, One forty-seven grain. Yeah. And we've had the Fort Scott stuff. There's a little bit of Fort Scott right there. Here's the uh, Fort Scott stuff that we're going to shoot, which is one twenty-four solid copper spun. Um, and it's defensive. So you can always tell it by that copper and uh, the point. The point. Right? And yeah. which may not work so great in these clocks. We'll see. You want me to start with that? Let's see what happens. Sure, see what happens. I'll do one and I'll do one. I'll leave I'll leave I'll leave one for you guys. Come on, let's go. Let's shoot it. And I'm gonna shoot over in the berm so we can see. And I'm gonna try to stay right here in the shade. Cause uh what is this like July seventeenth or something? something right now. Yeah, it is hot. It is hot out here. All right, so let's load this up. Here we go. Let's see how this is. Okay. Uh, there was a failure. Right here. Failure to feed. See that? I'll cycle that out. That could be this magazine. Let's see. Still good. Another failure there. Okay, I don't think that uh, in this magazine it's gonna doesn't look promising. Yep. Again. All so right, well, here's what I'm gonna do so we don't waste a lot of time on this. We're gonna switch over to a different one. Let me, yeah, here, try that out. Yeah. That's super, but see if it works. This is super. See okay. if it works. Uh, let's see. Just try it. Put one in the chamber first. That's a good idea. So I think that's... This gonna, is subs. Yeah. Different magazine. We're going to call that... Oh, that did not load. These are the... What are these magazines called again? ETS. Yeah, so this is the Federal in the ETS magazine. Still not working? Let me no. see. Nope. Hang on. It's the uh, flat nose, I bet. This is stuff is flat, yeah. Here. Um, Try that. Yeah. Well, this is uh, Fort Scott, and this is in a Glock magazine. So let's see if we get any difference. Nope. So failure to feed there out of that. Um, let's could it try be the here. spring change? The dead trigger. Maybe it weren't. All right, let's take go back okay. to the drawing board. Do we have a different barrel? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go back. <laughs> Having some issues here, what we need to do is figure out, is it ammo, is it magazines, is it the barrel? We'll swap out and put another barrel in there, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. you got a whole pile of variables here. you got a, a barrel that didn't come with the gun. you got a spring that didn't come with the gun. Mm -hmm. We need to put the original spring take, back in it. Yes. And you have a can, which of course has a booster, but that's hot. 
but um, <laughs> but um, that's always a variable with a can, um, you know, function wise. So uh, switch up some of the variables. I'm not gonna. I'm not I say gonna, use the the spring that came with that gun. And I'm not even gonna condemn the Korean mags until you know, yes, because they've been running pretty well. Wait, is that uh, is that okay? Can we do a suppressor without the booster? No. 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 Oh, that's um, well, listen. Ultimately, here we're seeing. We know the gun for a fact. We put 800 rounds through it is good, yeah, it's not and people are going to want to know this. So we're going to show the people what we're getting. We're at this point, we're experimenting. Okay, so now, what is the configuration? This is my barrel, original spring, uh, supersonic. Super. Supers. Super what? Just regular, regular stuff. Okay. Here, I'll take it from you. Now, I think so the this. Booster, I think your booster's dried out. The booster's dry. I think okay. The booster's dry. Make sure the can is tight. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now try again. It's hot. Put it in. Okay. Yeah. All right. See what happens. So this is the Fort Scott stuff. Ooh! Barely went into focus. Yeah. The battery. Let's see what happens here. And. There's your problem right there. Yeah. Yeah, give me some of the flat nose sub, uh, right. subs. Support Scott in a uh, glove bag. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's try the flat nose. That didn't feed either. You know what the problem take the, take the suppressor off. Watch. <laughs> it's very hot. Yeah. Just sit it down. There you okay. go. All right. Rechamber around. Rack a new round in. Who's, wait, 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 everybody got ears. You got ears, Lola? Okay. Yep. Go for it. All right, let's try it. Okay, give me a uh, Fort Scott. Yeah, try this. Give me a Fort Scott mag. That's a Glock mag. Try that. Okay. You haven't done that yet. Oh, didn't like chambering. No. Nope. Let's try that again. Okay, that chambered and ran. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the booster is, the grease on that booster is all dried up, so it's not actually, oh. it's not actually springing. Yeah. All right, um, for, your, for your ammo counters here. Yep, pick uh -huh. them up. One there. Yeah, what's up? In your first round of the ones I loaded, uh -huh. there was a nine millimeter round that I picked up that had been laying out here and was all tarnished. It worked fine. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what no. do you guys think? Should we just stop with the... Just shoot. Let's finish it out. Yeah, let's keep shooting. I, I think if you had a, a suppressor that was a little lighter oh. or had a functioning booster, it probably worked If you fine. had a setup that was all to the gun, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, feed ramps could be a thing. This is me. I mean, obviously... Remember, I would that's an aftermarket barrel. Yeah, I would not. say that, you know, Walter is a manufacturer here, so he's a little bit more of an expert than me, but I think... Feed ramps could be a thing. We're trying like very pointy nose and very flat nose, and we're having problems this with is, both of those. This is the dagger bridge. Yeah. So I think that if you're going to go suppressor, you know, you probably want to do. I know some of the other people shot suppressed stuff through the gun. So yeah. do we have another can out here? Do we? Have a, um, I can? have a. I have that one. Hold on, it doesn't have a booster can. on it though. We just need to make sure the booster's greased. That's not something you can. Neglect. Grease your booster, son. Yeah. That's what Anyways, um, okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Yeah, that looks like it's mucho bigger. Yeah. So now what are we trying? This is a Gymtech uh, GM9. This is a much lighter suppressor. Um, is this and it doesn't want to stuff? go. There we go. This is all the sub stuff. Here's how you test that's for anybody that's watching. Yeah, this is how you can yeah, tell if your booster's uh, greased yeah, properly. Uh, now. Give it a pull. You can see this one is also not greased very well. Because of what? You see how tight, how hard it is to pull. It might work, but it also could use a little bit of. Yeah, you see how how sticky that is. Could use a little grease. All right. But okay, we it. have grease out here. No, I'll just try it. Time okay. <clears throat> Walter's gonna grease it, I guess. Are you gonna grease it? So you can see we added some oil. Oil will work for the time being. It's not the best option, but it'll get us going. You can see how much easier it is to move that. It doesn't want to. Uh, is it moving still or not? Yeah, it's working perfect. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go with the flat nose. Go try it. Okay, let's see what happens. Lock and here. Roll. No. Look here. Right there on the ramp. See the ramp from from the barrel. That's where that's hanging up. 
No. Let's try the pointy. Uh, oh, course, gosh, could be no. a whole bunch of things. This works. Okay. People hate listening to me. <laughs> was that super? Uh, that, was, that was pretty loud. Listen, the the most precocious beast that we, exists in the wild is the baby face P who is right. Look at look, just observe. Observe the bee. Lola, observe I the I might bee. not actually be right. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, I may not you, be right. Uh, um, everything's going rather quickly here. That's what yeah, I'm saying. It's, it's, not it's, in a very scientific fashion. Yeah, yeah. it's the so listen. Uh, it's the three of us, right? So three chefs in the kitchen, but which I don't think that's the problem. There's so many variables with the gun, with the barrel that you're using, with the ammo, with the magazines. Okay, you got the Glock mag. You got the. But that was fine. That was fine yeah, though. Right. And so this was doable. this was what ammo was this? Fort's got supers, I think. Drop that mag. Okay, real quick. yeah, that wasn't yeah. that wasn't subsonic. It was too it? loud yeah. for subsonic. Yeah, let's put some other subsonic. stuff through it. Keep just keep rolling, Lola. Subs. Flat nose, Glock mag, works fine. The speed. There you go. Pretty well. It's not going to be perfect because yeah. it's oil, not grease, but it'll be okay. Yeah. Um, do we want to keep shooting the subs, or we want to swap this back out? It's up to you. Well, I just want to get done. Let's get this. Let's get well, this. Well, the subs are part of the count. Yeah, but we can yeah. do it without a, a suppressor. So, okay. Yeah, we can still shoot those. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna put this back to factory yeah. right now. Cause this fed fine with the yeah, with not the. It's yeah. that weight of the can off the front. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. So, so this is all the original stuff that we're putting back in the gun. We're just gonna keep going. Let's get it done. Yeah. Yeah. We got lots of ammo to burn through here. I'm just going to shoot at the berm. Yeah, let's do it. Let me yeah. see it. Let's take some of the... Well, we, we wanna, I got some in my pocket. Do we want to shoot from the shade? Because it's hot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get my ears on. I'm so going yeah, to shoot some steel. Here, so. But yeah, go up in there in the shade. You want me to bring the bucket? Wait, no. Wait for him to put his ears on. Okay. Uh, I'll bring I'll bring reloads for you. All right. You ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. That's a whole bunch of different types. You can hear the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give him this. ETS mag was the problem. Get in chamber. Again, not the gun. That was the last round in the mag. Didn't want to chamber up. Who's up? A tripod? Yeah. <laughs> uh, seriously. <laughs> Uh, I know Patrick doesn't like these, so I'm going to definitely shoot them. Um, I don't, you know, this is the whole thing. So many uh, different elements in this. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's try. This is a, this is a clock or a Korean Glock magazine. That's where I come up with it from. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let me say this. This undercut here is digging into my finger a little bit. I don't know if it's doing it to anyone else, but that's my only complaint so far. Here, Walt, you want to go? Sure. Whoop.
Oh, you got him in the holster. Boys. You know what's crazy? I can see those rounds try to bounce. I can see a couple of those bouncing off. Oh, of yeah? Them. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Going? Oh, I can keep going. I got yeah. more in my pocket too. Okay. Yeah, there's no reloading here. Just shoot. Up. Oh, see. There we go. Bag. No. Hey, you want me to take over? Woo! Well, Let was, Patrick take over from you. I was just gonna set the camera up. Facing, that slide facing. release is really hot. You just dropped the whole magazine. Oh, that's facing. that's still loaded. Yep. Okay. I that mag was yeah. That mag was good. Okay. Did not realize that. Yeah. Let me shoot at the steel. You're gonna have lots of mags on the ground. All right. I think it might be time to sizzle it a bit. No, I'm good. Well, I mean, it... yeah, let's get it. Okay, after this one. Here we go. Sideways. Finger, your finger getting tired? <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody quiet. <laughs> oh, look. It's not too good. Nope. Okay, it's still good. It's still good. Let's keep going. Okay. Somebody's hand's getting tired. Oh, yeah. Who wants to take over? Walt. There you go. Okay. You want me to take over here? Let me take over from you so you can shoot. It's going gangster style. I've never done that before in my life. Do it again. Now you can call yourself an expert on that. Ah. <laughs> well, I still got rounds in there. Trying to hold them out. Yeah, I'm gonna see what your uh what your eject pattern is here. Go ahead. I got more. Boop. Yes, <laughs> I'm not touching the top. <laughs> How's it feeling in the hand? Comfortable? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I think your hands are a little bit smaller than mine. I know it's I'll talk about it after, but I have an yeah. opinion on that. Okay. All right, cool. This steel is getting beat up today. Let's keep going here. Okay, 
Zombie hordes coming over. Yeah, that's getting tough to eject, right? Eh. Okay. Not bad. Mmm, flat nose stuff. See how it runs. Can, that ran fine. That was subsonic, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that, that was either barrel or can or both. Still one more. One little hiccup. All right. Probably actually a little bit. Okay, come on. Still got some mags in my pocket. Okay. Okay. Check it. That was empty, so that the slide didn't lock back there. All right, dump. It's getting hot it's up hot, front. It's hot. It's hot. You want my glove? Oh, getting hot. <laughs> that is five thousand uh -huh. and four rounds. Yes, Come hold on, on hold on. Lola. Let's put it in the water, Lola. Look at the steam. A wee bit warm. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Ooh, it's like bath water. We are going to do the wrap up here, so just stand by. We're going to uh, sit down and talk about this right now. Um, I hope you guys are, are enjoying this. I hope you're really sharing it and, and hitting the thumbs ups and leaving comments and things like that because lots of work was put in here by Lola and, and Patrick and Walter. Um, but before I say what I think, but let, let's start with Walter and Patrick. What do you guys think uh, about this? I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised it, it comes away looking like it, it hasn't been shot a lot. <laughs> I mean, there's a, little bit of, there's a little bit of this up top, which is normal. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the finish, though, it, it looks That's just... That's not far off from where we started. Yeah, that, I mean, it comes right out of the box there. like this, so... Yeah. I mean, I have a new one coming. It'll come this coming week, and I'll be able to tell you exactly what a brand new one looks like, but I don't think it's going to be much different besides this. Yeah. Um, inside, it doesn't look... There's no major issues inside that I saw either, so... Um, yeah. And it's aside from just being dirty from having a... Right. How many rounds? We did... What did we do? 5,004. Yeah, we're at 5,004, so from so 3,200, that's over 1,800 rounds. 1,800 rounds, yeah. 1,802 yeah. so. rounds. Yeah, yeah 1,800 rounds, and how how long have we been out here? Two like two hours. hours? Yeah. Yeah, that's not even common. <laughs> and, not even training. And as far as the function goes, this thing is really fast. 
Yeah, you can it really is. rip it them is. off fast. I mean, it's the it's reset. still accurate too. Like I was still at the end there, going for the for the hostage plate on the action target mm. um, that we have out there. So I'm surprised that it's still it's still accurate. I'm not really surprised. I mean, it's, we had a couple little, and it could probably was magazine issues and yeah. and or ammo, you yeah. know, a couple feeding things, but never, I never had anything stovepipe or, or, or anything right. like that, so. Yeah, and nothing that just kept repeating, except when we went to suppressors, yeah. which, honestly, like, this is not the suppressor version from PSA, right. and I'm sure when they put that out, they will test everything, but if you're gonna do it, like, one of the mistakes we made, which I think someone here said, uh, use the same uh, spraying, <laughs> we use a different spring. I, I, I don't think I that helps. I think helped. the spring that's in here is... I think this is too heavy of a spring for a suppressed gun, personally. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Having felt my Glocks, this feels a little heavier than I would like okay. on a suppressed gun. Yeah. Which, lightening the spring would actually make yeah. it eject better. But if you are going to run your gun suppressed, you're going to tune down some stuff. You're going to yeah. put different sights on it because, you know, we couldn't see over these sights. So you're going to put different sights. Obviously, it's a different barrel. The ramp might be an issue. You're going to find the ammo that runs the best in yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, honestly, we were just trying to show you guys whether or not you could do that. And roughly, you can switch out parts. That's the question right. we were looking for there, right? And yeah. Other, and other people have done it, too, already. So. Yeah. 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 Um, so, complaint. Personally, I don't like the swell on the side. Okay. I have little hands. I've always mm -hmm. complained about that on, on Hague's show. I have small hands. <laughs> when, when I yeah. grasp it, it... It fits your hand well. Um, I'd say this is better fit for a bigger hand. Um, just per but again, just total personal opinion. That's all mm -hmm. it is. Um, beyond that, the trigger is good. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. it's getting a little squishy because of the the grime that's in it. The first stage is a little squish. The second, the break is actually very mm -hmm. nice. Um, yeah, it was. I was still staging when mm -hmm. I, whenever I was shooting. It's just it's a, when it first came, it was a lot. It was a lot smoother. I think there's mm -hmm. just gunk up down in the in the mm -hmm. action. Yeah, we've been dropping this in water. And yeah, it's just not. Yeah, I not, mean, we uh, when 704 did it, dropped the water. Said it got gummy inside. Yeah, that's what it feels I like. I haven't seen. Well, maybe in, maybe it inside. Feel, what inside in the trigger? And then, it, just feel the first stage. It that trigger. Be. It's a little. It's a little gummier than it was when we first started. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. That you first know. stage is a little, little mushy. We, All, none, but again, of that, none of that is a serious thing. No. Um, my complaints are that, so the undercut here in the trigger guard. Yes. Um, so for me, you if off. you look, if you look when, so when in my hold, and my hands are bigger you than big yours. Hands. Yeah, you got big yeah. hands. Um, and not as, like, Walter has, like, big, beefy well, really those are sausages. <laughs> uh, mine, are, mine are a little, oh, a little yeah, you don't got little baby more swell. I got yeah. baby fingers. So this was, was, is cutting in to right here, which I have a little bit of a welt, even with the gloves. But to be honest with you, you know, if you're getting this frame, you could do something with that. You could file you could it down or whatever yeah, you could if you really want to. to. Yeah, um, so when I hold it like this, I could feel it, but really... It didn't become a thing until we shot all these different I, rounds I, yeah. through it. And, and, and Walter's so. pinky. Yeah, the, the, the bottom. The bottom yeah. right? I, uh, I, so my other complaint before I hand it off to Walt, my other complaint about it, which I've seen other people say, is this is less real estate here. It's a, It would be good to if you got to, a bigger. To clarify for people, this is a Gen 3 mm -hmm. version of this gun. Mm -hmm. The Gen 4 is when Glock moved up to the Gen 4 and 5, they made a bigger... Mm -hmm. um, a yeah. bigger magazine release. So, Gen that's threes, so if that's you get normal. this, you can probably change you that. Can get if you a, you could get an aftermarket Gen yeah. 3 extended and that would fix yeah. it. So. Yeah, so that's that's my thing. What's I've your thing? I've had some well, of these that, are, that I have that stick out too far. Yes. It feels awesome. like to me. What's got me here was this bottom edge right here on, yeah. on my on my pinky right down there. Yeah. You can but, see the line. Right, right. And But, you know, that's that's how I hold the thing. So, oh. but, but how many times am I going to shoot? As many rounds, rounds. As, yeah, or if I shot 500 out of what we just would did. Would you use, so a lot of people use a, so this is a, what we would call compact. So in, mm -hmm. in pistol, in this category of pistol, striker fired, you have full size, compact, and subcompact, right? Mm -hmm. So this is compact right in the middle, mm -hmm. and a lot of people carry these to defend themselves. Would you do it? After what I saw today, personally, I would have no problem throwing mm -hmm. that in a holster and walking home. It runs. Yeah, it would, me neither. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it, yeah. The only issues we had is when it came to tuning it for for a suppressor, mm -hmm. and there were a crap load of variables that <laughs> are once again, you're not going to have a can in no, your I'm not, yeah, yeah, not having a can. Without a can yeah. and quality ammo, yeah. even ch garbage yeah. ammo, even steel, like cheap yeah. steel case. Yeah. yeah. I you know what fine. I would say about it's this? Fine. I might even make this the title of the video. I don't know yet, but I might say, don't buy this if you if you uh, don't want to save money. 
<laughs> if you want to spend a lot of extra money. Yeah, if you... And you know, the, the thing the thing that I noticed, for me in particular, um, a lot of guys, you know, tune their guns to their hands. They get them stippled. They say, yeah. Um, there's a lot of meat on these sidewalls uh, and on the back strap. If you wanted to tailor this to your yeah. grip with a little can bit of filing you, uh, or stippling, you it'll use, work. I don't know if you can use the Glock back straps on this or not. I don't think I don't so. Think so. I doubt there is a pin there that you could push out, but I don't know if that's so. compatible. I, see, personally, I don't think you need it. It's wide enough front to back, I think. No, I didn't. No, I don't need it. I, I just worry. I just oh, worry slide about bike. slide bike, slide but bike. this is not an issue here. The way that this is set up, there's no Never chance of slide any, bite. Never had anything like nope. that. And I've had slide bite, you can see from the scars. On Glocks and 1911. Yeah, that's what those scars are on my hand uh, yeah. from like when I'm trying. Listen, this, I would probably break first before this, which is what I like we about. We did almost. Yeah, which is what I like about a Glock. So that's what I would be looking for. I really think if you just don't want to save, if you want something in this category and but you just don't want to save money go get something else right, yeah if you, if wanna, you can if 300 you wanna, bucks you want to spend well worth it. this is in the price tag of, uh, of was, a taurus and i would like yeah. this more than a taurus personally well, yeah yeah i mean yeah yeah um and the you know all of that stuff is becoming better so the whole idea here right, of what's right. going on um look I'm not going to take away props from Glock. I think Glock made a really good gun. Mm -hmm. The problem is they really haven't innovated and pushed the boundaries and stuff like that, and they're still at the same price. If you want to save some money but get a really good gun, like entry level, this is three hundred and twenty dollars, right, with taxes? Yeah, it was about that, which taxes, yeah, shipping. Yeah, yeah, shipping. Yeah, 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 and you're good to go. There's tons of holsters. This will probably fit in. We didn't try that or whatever, but I'm going to assume. Uh, I'm gonna let that. Well, truck it has go the same by. profile as as a, as a, as nice. a similar yeah. team, so yeah. that'll fit. Yeah, I think this is really really cool. I, I look, there's some problems out there, maybe from other folks, and the difference between this and a Glock is Glock has been around for 20, 30 something years. Yeah, I, I, we, I didn't see any problems that I would go like, oh my 40? god, I'm not buying it. Yeah, no. so where where are we? Like uh, early we're 80s for Glock. 81. Yeah, 80s. Uh, the, oh no, 80 is when they took over the, yeah. the Austrian contract. I am really like excited by this to see. Evolution of Yeah, it. at this price point, where is this going to go? What's it going to do? This is at a price point where, so here's a big thing. 3D guns, people doing stuff. This is cheaper. The whole of yeah. these parts this cost more. <laughs> you can't build a home a home assembled. You couldn't group. 3D print that cheaper. The the slide, the barrel alone is going to be the price of that yeah. Yeah. at retail. Well, yeah, so I'm yeah. going to pass it off to you um, so you can give your final thoughts. It is... Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't have any serious complaints. I don't have any serious complaints. That's that's the nice thing. Three hundred dollars. Personally, if I were buying one of these, uh, I might wait until they come out with the, the optic, suppressor, suppressor optic yeah. ready well, version. They're also going to have a seventeen size one, I'm sure. Yeah. The, I want to see the that. case. I, is a, the case is the size of that. I would, so, yeah. I want to see the carbine length. I, oh, Jesus Christ. What about the bullpup one? <laughs> the, <laughs> I am just praying. I'm praying the bullpup one is coming. It's it's worth the money. Don't yeah, buy with confidence. Well, it's look, worth if the money. someone made a bullpup a kit, you can get this for for three hundred bucks, and you know, listen, the the opportunities here for what PSA is doing, I think, are endless. Yeah, I would like to see that. Machine I think gun. you need to make one of those. Yeah, <coughs> we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, what's your thing, Walt? You're a manufacturer. Um, it's. Well finished, like I said, the in, in, the, the 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 molding on the, on the lowers, excellent. I mean, yeah, there's, there's no, no lines. There's no lines. Nothing to go like, oh man, I need to sand this thing off. Mm -hmm. Not like that. I mean, yeah, it looks good. It's quality. It's quality done. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you can't for the money. Come on, come on. Yeah. You, okay, you can buy a Turkish pistol for about same price. Yeah, I'd rather have this. Um, you can buy a Taurus for about the same price. So this is going to go to um, our friend Jonathan from Tactical yep, Toolbox Jonathan, yep. next. At 5,000 rounds, I'm not sure how many he's going to put through it. Do you think the average, how, you know, what, what do you that's think more than this needs to get to? That's, more than, to go, most, oh, the average person. that's more than most Glock owners put in their guns in a lifetime. Yeah. Most people put 100 rounds a year or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I yeah. use Glocks when I'm training. Yeah. So if you ask me if I would take this to go train, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you'd cool. be fine. You go train, you'll be fine. The instructor won't kick you out yep. because you because <laughs> you built your own gun, which happens. There's because you're messing up the class. Yeah, absolutely. If you go with a gun that could potentially have problems because you put it together. If so. you if you've been eyeballing one, get it. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna hand it off from here magically. I don't know what uh, stuff uh, Jonathan's gonna do, but magic. Jonathan, here you go. Oh. <laughs>
it's yours. <laughs> Big thanks to Walter from Safety Harbor Firearm, as well as Patrick of Babyface P, which you guys need to go subscribe to him. Uh, Walter did buy one. He'll probably have some stuff. I'll have a video. Patrick I'm gonna after we hang up here. I'm gonna do yeah. a video as well uh, for my own channel. Yeah, I'm and just gonna sit down and look it over. Yeah, uh, I probably won't do much. Absolutely. So make sure you check out his stuff and Walter at Safety Harbor Firearms. Big thanks to Lola and uh, big thanks to PSA mm -hmm. for giving us the opportunity to do and say whatever we want to about this. We're out of here. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.